Good morning to you. Well, I'm in the uh, familiar backdrop to the little local church that's always open here in my area, which is always a blessing. And uh, yesterday, I just want to share a couple of scriptures with you. Um, yesterday, I uh, was walking in the fields and I was reading Revelation chapter 22. And something struck me that hadn't really struck me before. And uh, it's in verse 8. John had um, been given these incredible revelations of the new Jerusalem, the river of the water of life, as is described at the beginning of the chapter, and uh, how wonderful it will be. And then John has a strange reaction in verse 8. He says here, I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then he said unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And... Um, I was struck because I thought after all that John had received from Christ, after all the experiences that he'd been through, after all the incredible revelations that he'd been given, he made a massive mistake. In that moment, he, he wasn't recognizing God, but he was recognizing the messenger instead. And that was reinforced to me this morning as I was reading Colossians 1. And um, <clears throat> Paul speaks here of what he calls a mystery in uh, verse 26. And he says here, I'll just read from verse 25, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery which hath been laid or had been hid, sorry, from ages and from generations, and now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And what crossed my mind here is that Christ was in John, the Holy Spirit had come and the church was established. This was written somewhere around AD 95. So the churches were well established. The Holy Spirit was moving in the churches and many, many converts were being made. And even with the Spirit of Christ in him, even with the revelations that John had had, he still made the mistake of worshipping the angel. He was overcome probably by his beauty, overcome by everything that the angel himself was showing him. But in that moment, he gave his worship in the wrong place. And I suppose in a way it crosses my mind because it's so easy for us to, to do the same thing. We can suddenly be caught up in, in the splendor of what we're looking at. And... Who knows, in the end, as we know, the Antichrist will come, reveal himself as an angel of light, and it won't be difficult, will it, for people to bow down and worship? No, you're not seeing things. Uh, I have switched venues. Um, what happened was, uh, and why the video cut off in the church so, so sort of abruptly, was that uh, people came in to uh, put Easter flowers up. And that's how I was rudely interrupted, if you could call it that. But uh, just to finish the message off, uh, as I was saying, which was actually several hours ago, um, it's easy to make a mistake, to fall for something, like uh, uh, as John did with uh, worshipping the angel. And um, we all have to be so careful. But the thing is this. It's about holding on to the mystery. That's what I want to leave you with on the video today. 
hold on to the mystery. The mystery is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And that's what we're celebrating this Easter time or resurrection time or whatever you want to call it. This is the most crucial time in the calendar, if you like, of, of our faith. Christ died. Christ is risen. And that's what matters. It's not about anything else. And if we hold on to that risen power that is inside us, that's the thing, isn't it? We hold this treasure in earthen vessels. And one day we'll have a vessel that will be much more suited to holding that treasure. And it'll last for eternity. Never ending. So... John was the same as us in the book of Revelation. He had the revelations, but yet he too was, um, what's the word? Susceptible, that's it, susceptible. And we're all susceptible to falling, being dazzled. And uh, I think that's what happened to, to John. He was dazzled in the moment when he bowed his knee to the angel. So may God protect us, preserve us, and deliver us from the dazzler. Have a blessed weekend, especially tomorrow, when we celebrate his his rebirth, his resurrection. Not his rebirth, sorry. <laughs> his resurrection. Oh dear, I slip up on words sometimes. Please forgive me. Have a blessed time. <laughs>